Um, I, beha I speak on behalf of the Trade Union Federation, PSI, 30 million working women and men daily delivering key public services on which our families and communities depend. I also speak on behalf of the global water justice movement, bringing workers and communities together across the globe. Little of what I have to say has already been said here today. Hank Olvig uh, earlier today said that 99% of our investments are worsening our climate crisis. The chief investment officer for sustainable investing at BlackRock, which manages over $10 trillion, quit his job saying companies that must maximize profits are structurally incapable of meeting social and environmental goal. Uh, the result of our model is concentrating more wealth and political influence in fewer and fewer hands, regardless of negative impacts on people or planet or on the health of our democratic institutions. This is not the world we want. Yet the SDGs are based on the premise that we need to figure out how to attract private finance capital into water, energy, health, education, all of the public services that we need. We heard from the IMF, World Bank, their new plans for blended and innovative finance, public subsidies for private profits. Yet they continue with massive austerity and increasing debt burdens in their structural adjustments. Our game changer, Madam Chair, is to challenge this model. The water sector needs to be much more critical about these financing, uh, financing assumptions, which bring more water privatization and extract and export profits. We need to be critical of speculating and commercial trading of water rights and allowing bottled water where it isn't needed. We instead need to advocate a global tax system where corporations and the rich pay their fair taxes in countries where they earn profits. The 15% of OECD BEPS is not enough. We've got to stop the global game of shifting profits and optimizing taxes. Stand strongly in favor of debt forgiveness and shut down illicit financial flows. The water sector can't continue to be shy on these issues. So we call for a system of public-public partnerships where the public utilities, which are the dominant model, can get together at a global level. And I think Inaxia's Jean mentioned that. But we also see countries such as Colombia, South Korea, Singapore, and the Netherlands using their public water utilities to make money overseas, to focus on profit, on full-cost recovery in development pro pro projects. Look, we've spent 50 years of shrinking the governments and disparaging public services, deregulating, reducing barriers to profit making. And that's all I've heard today. Countries need the fiscal space to make their own plans and not to have all these market based solutions imposed on them. We must be bold enough to confront our failures, challenge these assumptions and recapture our commons. Thank you very much.